Hello everyone, this is the Daily Devotional video for September 4th, 2017. Our passage for today is in the book of Genesis, chapter 16, and we're reading the entire chapter, or chapter 16. Now Sarai, Abram's wife, had borne him no children, and she had an Egyptian maidservant whose name was Hagar. So Sarai said to, Abraham, said to Abram, See now, the Lord has restrained me from bearing children. Please go into my maid. Perhaps I shall obtain children by her. And Abram heeded the voice of Sarai. Then Sarai, Abram's wife, took Hagar, her maid, the Egyptian, and gave her to her husband Abram to be his wife after Abram had dwelt ten years in the land of Canaan. So he went into Hagar, and she conceived. And when she saw that she had conceived, her mistress became despised in her eyes. Then Sarai said to Abram, My wrong be upon you. I gave my maid into your embrace. And when she saw that she had conceived, I became despised in her eyes. The Lord judge between you and me. So Abram said to Sarai, Indeed, your maid is in your hand. Do to her as you please. And when Sarai dealt harshly with her, she fled from her presence. Now the angel of the Lord found her by a spring of water in the wilderness by the spring on the way to Shur. And he said, Hagar, Sarai's maid, <coughs> where have you come from and where are you going? And she said, I am fleeing from the presence of my mistress, Sarai. So the angel of the Lord said to her, return to your mistress and submit yourself under her hand. Then the angel of the Lord said to her, I will multiply your descendants exceedingly so that they shall not be counted from so that they shall not be counted for multitude. And the angel of the Lord said to her, Behold, you are with child, and you shall bear a son. You shall call his name Ishmael, because the Lord has heard your affliction. He shall be a wild man. His hand shall be against every man, and every man's hand against him and he shall dwell in the presence of all his brethren. Then she called the name of the Lord who spoke to her, You are the God who sees. For she said, Have I also have here seen him who sees me? Therefore the well was called Bir Lahiroi. Observe, it is between Kadesh and Barad. So Hagar bore Abram a son, and Abram named his son whom Hagar bore Ishmael. Abram was 86 years old when Hagar bore Ishmael to Abram. Get a quick drink, sorry. The title for today's devotional is Responding to Closed Doors. God answers prayer in one of three ways. Yes, no, or yes, but not yet. This last reply seemed to be the most dreaded, sometimes even more than an outright no. However, patience is an important trait for the Christian, as scripture stresses repeatedly in stories, psalms, and epistles. Waiting on the Lord to unlock a door is always wiser than attempting to pry it open ourselves, even when the delay has been long. After God promised him descendants, Genesis 12, 2, Abraham lived for 25 years with the an answer of not yet. After that quarter century, the answer finally became yes. But meanwhile, Abraham and Sarah came up with their own plan to get an heir. Sarah's servant Hagar bore Ishmael. The couple may have convinced themselves they were helping God live up to his prophecy, but really they were disobeying. 
The consequences were disastrous. Bitterness and blame affected every member of the family. Reference to Genesis 16, 4 through 6, and Genesis 21, 9 through 10. What's more, Ishmael's people lived in enmity, enmity with their neighbors, and that hostility persists in the Middle East today. Reference to um, verses 9 through 14 and, and Genesis 25, 18. Our patience gives God time to prepare the opportunity on the other side of the closed door. Even if we could force our way by manipulating circumstances, we would not be happy with what we find there. No one in Abraham's camp was satisfied with the situation they created. We can have contentment and joy only when we access the Lord's will at the very moment he ordained. The blessings we find on the other side of an open door are always worth the wait. It's very hard when God says not yet, or not now. We tend to be as impatient as children. We want it right now. We don't want to have to wait, you know. We want things to happen now, today, in our timeline. And we think that we know what's best. We think we know that it's that we think that now is better than later. And God is always right, you guys. Wait on his timing. Trust his timing. If he closed the door that you were convinced should be opened, know that he knows what he's doing. And he he has only your best interest at heart. He has an amazing plan for your life. Just trust him. Don't try to force the door open. Don't try to do things your own way. Trust in God's timing and you will always be blessed. I love you guys. Have a great day. I hope to see you back here again tomorrow.